Hi, I'm Carla B, and we're here at the Create International offices in Chiang Mai, Thailand, where we recently held Create International's 2013 Family Gathering. All of our seven teams were gathered from around the world, and we spent a week at the Swan Bua Resort getting to know or catch up with nearly 70 coworkers, old and new, from Create International Perth, Create International Thailand, Create International India, Create International Taiwan, Create Emerge, the Create 2020 Vision Team, and Create GCRC, which stands for the Global Communication and Resource Center. We kicked off the gathering with a fun opening night dinner with icebreakers and games, then let out as usual in an interactive way to get to know some of the major milestones of Create, being that this year marks our 25th anniversary. Our theme from Isaiah 6-8, My Eyes Have Seen the King, positioned us to enter the week honoring our Lord Jesus for being the center and source of all that our ministry has been able to accomplish over the last 25 years. Marinus Hayes was our worship leader from South Africa. He led us out in glorious times of corporate worship and ushered in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Some profound prophetic words were delivered throughout the week. We listened as Create International elders shared insight and what they felt God has been speaking to us as a ministry. Calvin and Carol, our founders and international directors, definitely challenged us in the way forward. We were also blessed by input from international speakers, Dr. Larry Caldwell and Dr. Daniel Kakawa, who are both some of the world's leading experts in contextualization and intercultural studies. There was an opportunity to respond before the Lord to wash our hearts clean for other cultures in order to be right in our calling to take God's love to other peoples. It was encouraging to hear reports from each of the Create Centers and teams to hear what God has been doing through them since our last corporate gathering. We work hard, and now we play hard. It's fun day at the Chiang Mai Zoo and Snow Dome. During every Create gathering, we take a day out to go sightseeing, hang out together, and have some family-friendly fun. Who would have guessed there's snow in Thailand? Perhaps the best part of the gathering was being able to have time to hear God together on how He wants to lead us into the future. Some things God highlighted were various kinds of mobile teams, elements of distribution, as well as greater preparation time on projects on the field to build relationships. Something we've never done before, prayer walking on our very own world map. Our attention was turned to the people groups targeted on the 2020 vision list, a list that represents 75% of the unreached peoples of the world. Now we almost forgot to mention the fun times at the pool. The Swan Blue Resort grounds were so refreshing and perfect for quiet time alone or with friends. Following a surprise outdoor evening meal that the resort staff put together for us, complete with a huge cake, we proceeded to a closing time of contextual communion. As if that wasn't wonderful enough, we held a special gala celebration on the evening of the 19th, marking Create International's 25th anniversary. Special guests included John and Julie Dawson, Mark Anderson, David Cole, Sam and Pat Sarvis, 
and Phil Porter. These and many other longtime friends honored Cal and Carol in their service to the Lord through Create International since 1988. So if you want to be part of the fun next time, come join us at Create International. I was very blessed and encouraged to be here. The, the quality of the people and the quality of the work has been uh, fantastic, especially the, what has happened during the last five years. Um, the growth and the quality of everything and the expansion of the knowledge of uh, contextualization, I would say. We call it culture-specific evangelism. Is has been overwhelming for me. I, I'm just so blessed to see this happening. It's been a dream of mine for a long time to see this uh, become so important. So this has been a real blessing for me. Not only have I learned from so many of my heroes of faith here who have um, done s so much for the Lord and gone into so many of the um, places around the world to reach unreached people. So I'm really blessed to be with them, learn from them and share and to see all the things that are happening. Um, this is a, a conference that I wouldn't want to miss. Yeah, I, of any conference around the world right now and this is when I would really want to be at. It's been a real privilege for me to be here this week for your 25th anniversary of Create International. Just been a great week with uh, meeting with everybody and seeing your whole team together. And I've just been really impressed about uh, three different things that I've seen during this week here. The first one is just that you're, you are, you're all so uh, committed to uh, one another and to trying to be the best that you can be in terms of uh, media presentations. You are all professionals and that's just exciting to see that the quality of the, the products that you're putting out are just so, so very good. But at the same time, you have this uh, integrity as Christians that you, your foundation is uh, Jesus and your motivation is to uh, serve Him in the best way that you can. And, and I just see that all over in, in Create International. But the real thing that I see is the passion for the unreached, and that that is your, that is your goal, that's what you're all about. And this whole uh, desire that you have in your 2020 vision uh, to reach, uh, help reach through media, all of the remaining uh, unreached people groups, the least reached groups, just an amazing, uh, amazing challenge that you have before you and you're ready to take it up and you are doing it now and having, having to see it actually take place. Um, my challenge for you as an organization is one that I talked about before in the whole area of contextualization today. The, the biggest areas are uh, questions of what is conversion? In other words, what does a person have to do to really follow Jesus? What are the minimums that that is? The second challenge is the whole question of who is a Christian? And that relates to all of the insider movements uh, worldwide that we're seeing today. And the third is what is the church? Uh, and we're also seeing that being challenged today in terms of a Western understanding of what a church is and a non-Western understanding of uh, smaller cell groups, small groups, those kinds of uh, things and the house church movements that are going around worldwide. So my challenge for, uh, for Create International at this point is to say, okay, uh, God has blessed you mightily over the last 25 years as an organization. You've been reaching uh, unreached people groups, helping in terms of media and uh, uh, how media can help both uh, Western missionaries and non-Western missionaries to reach out to unreached peoples better. Now my challenge for you as a group is to say how can you uh, uh, challenge uh, the international community of Christians in terms of trying to find answers to these questions. Uh, who is a follower of Jesus? What is conversion, in other words? Uh, what is the church? And those issues are huge issues. And Create is a group now, I think, that can, through all of your knowledge and all the media that you've produced, 
can show a way forward for helping both Western churches and non-Western churches go forward in answering these very, very crucial questions that face us in the area of contextualization today.